Hey guys, off a day. So welcome to another wonderful week of the day in the life of a husband and a wife team doing gig work. Um, previously, I would normally do, you know, videos on how a shift went, if there was anything interesting that happened. But because I keep falling behind um, with uh, posting my videos, um, partly one was due to um, stuff that was going on with the spark scammers. Um, and then I did a couple of live videos. And um, so my videos just kept getting pushed back. And then one of my recent posts, I did, you know, how I did for um, Super Bowl weekend. And then after that, I did for the week of Valentine's. So this format's going to be the same thing as that last post with doing a week-long look at um, on how we did from February 19th to the 25th. And I'm doing this because I'm hoping so that way I can catch up with some of the content that I did make um, to be able to show you guys, you know, what happened with both the good and not so good stuff. So I, I do really hope you'll hang in there, watch what I have to show, and then if you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and then don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you'll know when I drop new videos. But with this video, you're going to see things um, where um, some high school drama, um, one of our heaviest orders to date, um, other things, um, that had gone wrong with an order or a couple of orders, really. Um, so hang tight. Let me show you what happened during that week. And then of course, this is what happens when I try to record. My daughter's cat likes to get right in my face and actually <laughs> right mm -hmm. this is wicked yes she's a beautiful cat but when she wants some loving she definitely lets you know <laughs> she gets in your face you know she's purring so I don't know if you can hear that but she climbed on my shoulder earlier and she got me good she lost her footing and mm hmm and you scratch me. And earlier, she wasn't happy with just sitting in front of me. That's when she had to actually climb on top of me. She got on my lap, and she's like, nope, not close enough, and decides to get on my shoulder. Hmm? All right, here at PetSmart, I have a shop and delivery, but it's not Uber Eats. It's not DoorDash. <laughs> But I'm here with shipped for items, one customer. So let's get in there and get to shopping. All right, it looks like um, very similar to Instacart, but no, it doesn't even look like they give um, aisle numbers, but we are looking for dog items. I know I'm a glutton for punishment, but yes, I'm back here. The scene of the last <laughs> time I waited for almost an hour. Let's see. Um, it's not ready yet. Um, our kitchen, we only have one place. Once 
There you I go. You are welcome. <laughs> Okay, so the first two days, nothing exciting um, other than doing, I believe, was my second shift offer. And um, as I've said in a previous video when it comes to shift, it's hard to really look at taking or accepting those offers because it doesn't show you the upfront um, tips. So I wish they would update that and change that because then it would make it just a little bit easier for the drivers to accept those offers. But on Wednesday, we did not work. And the reason why we didn't work was because um, we spent almost the entire day in the emergency room. My husband, um, you know, not really having any signs Monday, Tuesday, um, felt like he had the, um, like he could be having a heart attack. His heart rate had jumped to um, almost 120 uh, beats per minute. His uh, blood pressure was also high. And especially when it comes to his heart rate, you know, for the most part, you could basically time, uh, as he likes to say it, you know, time a, a watch to it or something like that because it's typically about 60 beats a minute. And so we went to the emergency room and they end up keeping him there all day because they wanted to make sure, you know, that it wasn't in fact uh, a heart attack, a heart attack, um, whether, you know, especially even if it's a small one, but thankfully that wasn't the case. Um, hey wicked. And, uh, um, but you know, they ran all the tests, they, they did x-rays, um, blood work, all that they could do to make sure you know, it wasn't something to look further into, so we don't know. But again, thankfully, you know, all was good. And, um, but now the next day, that's a whole different story. You know, it kind of made up for not working on Wednesday. So let's check it out. Good morning, hop a day. It's Thursday morning, it's a beautiful day, and our first offer is here. Can you tell? <laughs> we are here at Costco. Um, six items, less than, well, it's just over five miles, but it is for 27 bucks. Oh yeah, let's get to shopping. Okay, so yes, as fantastic as this order was, um, customer A wanted not just four cases of water, but a total of nine cases of water, two big things of paper towels. So yeah, <laughs> we ended up with two carts and crossing fingers that this is a house and not an apartment. We are back here for round two, but this time it's just a one customer shopping order, um, eight items, and thankfully we're not looking at cases of water. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's get in there. Let's see how quickly we can get this one done. So let's get to shopping. All right, we are on to our third offer of the day, but this time we are dashing. One customer order, but it's um, it's a stacked offer for the same customer. Seven items here at Randall's, and then we're on to Popeyes. But let's get in there and get those seven items. We are on a roll today. This is our fourth order of the day. It's a two customer shopping, 35 items and just over $30, so um, 
been kept busy since we started. We are almost three hours into our shift. Uh, so let's get in there and get to shopping. Awesome, thank you so much. It is going on six o'clock. The sun is starting to go down and it's, say hi. <laughs> Um, it's, it actually reached to what the low 80s, but we are here at a Walmart for a curbside pickup. We are in a different zone. We've actually haven't done a pickup at this Walmart probably since October of last year. Um, we came across too many issues with this location with, um, excessive wait time. I mean, you're talking about more than 30 minutes and um, orders getting dropped. So yeah, we just stopped coming to this location and we were actually headed to a different part of this specific zone. I mean, this zone is big for the Austin, North Austin area. I mean, it has a handful of Walmarts and Sam's clubs, but we decided to give it another shot. This one popped up, it's, uh, like I mentioned, it's a curbside pickup, two customers, about five miles, and for 18 bucks. So we are just waiting, and we are so hoping this isn't gonna turn into the whole reason why we stopped coming to the spot in the first place. So let's find out. Okay. <clears throat> the sun has gone down and that pickup well it, it went smoothly we didn't wait too long and the two drop-offs weren't too far away from this door but we are trying our chances again um, we're back at this Walmart for another curbside pickup we've been here probably just two or three minutes and so I'm hoping it'll be another smooth pickup so here's hoping that's the case All right, can you tell where we're at? <laughs> um, here for one item, one customer, and it's a stacked offer for the same customer. Here at Target, and then it's a restaurant pickup, but ugh, it's ice cream. And with this specific store, the main doors are on one side, which is the non-food side. They only gave me two minutes to get this ice cream and it takes one minute to just even get to this part of the store <laughs> so, all right let's get this ice cream and get checked out and that's the other thing there um, self checkouts are closed and there's long lines up there oh boy Have you ever taken an order for a high schooler? How about one that was from out of town? I can raise my hand to both. Well, at least I didn't know that this person was in high school until 45 minutes into this order. The drop-off point from the pickup was literally five, six minutes away. And get there, it was at a university. Come to find out, the person was out of town, did not know where they were, could not tell the difference between a college and a high school or the difference between a soccer field and a football field. When I, after 40 minutes of trying to figure out where they were, I finally asked them to send me a pin of where they were. They were nine minutes away. They were at a high school that was nine minutes away from the university that the directions had taken us to. Oh, we were tried so hard not to get mad, especially, you know, after realizing they're high school students. Would you have waited that long? Hey guys, half a day. It is a beautiful Sunday. We're out here.
trying to multi-app. <laughs> We've done one offer so far, and it was, um, it was DoorDash for Aldi. It wasn't a bad offer. But other than that, before and after, offers have just been low, backwards. <sighs> so, hoping that we can get out there and <laughs> make some good money on this beautiful Sunday. Okay, so we are here at Walmart. I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. All right, Uber, let's see what you got for me. 5.9 miles for $6. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. And here in the last couple of days, what was very surprising was that our Walmarts are lit up. I don't know if you can see that, but they're actually red. And it's been that way for a couple of days. And so we've had our spark on. Like I said, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, but still not getting anything. 8.8 .8 miles for 7.52. I mean, Uber Eats still hates me. <laughs> I get the occasional decent offer to take, but still hates me. But that whole thing about connecting to the Wi-Fi, I mean, I've tested it off and on and it hasn't changed anything. Okay. There you go. Have a good day. Okay, so the week turned out really good. Um, we worked a total of, um, let's see, one, two, three. We worked Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. And um, as you saw with a couple of the clips there, you know, the things that we had to deal with, um, like what I labeled as the high school drama, I mean, I really should have thought about that sooner, about doing, you know, getting a pin drop. So if you ever come across that, just keep that in mind. If someone doesn't know where they're at and you're, you're spending already more than you should trying to find them, automatically ask to see if they can send you a pin drop of where they're at. Because that, that was just ridiculous for, for that, that order right there. Um, and then, um, as I, I, was, I was saying too, the, uh, it was a really great week. Um, out of the five days, we ended up ready to hear the total. <laughs> we ended up doing a total of $815.08 and with that, you know, in the five days that we worked, we did a total of 31.5 hours and in those um, five days, we ended up accepting a total of 49 offers. So when you think about it that way, um, with doing over $800 at 49 offers, we were able to average about $16 per offer, which is really good. And then um, it's 25, just over $25 for our hourly rate. So as I said, it was a really good week. Yay! <laughs> um, I'm just thankful that I, you know, have my husband there to, to help, especially not just for the heavy things, but, you know, again, with the, what happened on Wednesday, and the fact that we turned around and, you know, he was at it again and dealing with lifting nine cases of water. <laughs> um, and then everything else that we did after that. So I'm just so glad everything worked out and that he's okay. But um, I just want to say, and something that I say with the ending of almost every video is, please stay safe out there. Please, let's get out there and make our money, but make sure we make it home safely. And also, thank you guys so much for watching my video, for supporting my channel. And if you're new to my channel, again, I would truly appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if, if it's something you haven't done already, especially for my, um, my regular viewers, go ahead and hit that share button. Let's get others out there to um, know about my channel especially if it's information you think that they could use. But again, thank you so much. See you as Maasi. And until next time, adios for now.